most IVF cycles still do not end in a pregnancy, no matter how perfect the IVF cycle may be. And the reason for that is once we've made a blastocyst and put it back in the uterus, we have no control over what's going to happen. The fact still remains that there's lots of stuff about embryo implantation we still don't understand. Why do perfect IVF cycles fail? Every patient does an IVF cycle with the hope that it's going to be their first and their last, that at the end of it, they'll end up with a baby. And quite frankly, every doctor hopes so too, because if that cycle is successful, that patient is going to send you lots more patients. But the tragedy is most IVF cycles still do not end in a pregnancy, no matter how perfect the IVF cycle may be. So why does this happen? First, let's define what a perfect IVF cycle is. And that basically just means three things, because these are the only three things an IVF doctor can control. A, a top quality blastocyst, which we then transfer into the uterus using a mechanical embryo transfer procedure. And the third is the endometrium, which means it should be receptive. So if you have a receptive endometrium, which is thick and try laminon ultrasound scans, if the transfer procedure has been straightforward, and if you have a top quality embryo, then we can say this is a perfect IVF cycle. But unfortunately, not all of these end up in a baby. And the reason for that is once we've made a blastocyst and put it back in the uterus, we have no control over what's going to happen. This is an in utero biological process called embryo implantation. And it's not a process which we can monitor or control or manipulate. And that's the reason why so many IVF cycles fail. The reality is that human reproduction is not very efficient. And that's the reason why every fertile couple doesn't get pregnant every month in their bedroom. Because using that logic, you would expect that would happen. But in reality, even fertile couples take time to get pregnant. May take two months, may take three. No one goes to a doctor and says, hey, we've been having sex every day for six months. I'm still not pregnant. People are willing to be patient. But the truth is, it's much easier to be patient when you're trying in your bedroom. Much harder when you're spending all that money in an IVF clinic. The fact still remains that there's lots of stuff about embryo implantation we still don't understand. And as you can imagine, you're putting a live microscopic ball of cells inside the uterine cavity. How do we track its fate? And we still can't do that very well. So we need to learn to live with some of these limitations. But remember, if you've had a perfect IVF cycle, the secret for success is being patient because there is a cumulative conception rate. And the more the cycles you do, your better your chance of getting pregnant. Have questions about IVF? Feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Malpani. Our website is www.drmalpani.com. Happy to offer you a free second opinion.